All right. <laughs> so I have a, um, a trend going here where I update every like two to three years. <laughs> so I think my last update, Evelyn was like almost one um, and she just turned three. So it's been two years. Um, 2020. <laughs> For anybody uh, uh, watching this update. Uh, yeah, that was a doozy for everyone. Uh, so, uh, this year, uh, I had a full-time job, and my daughter got diagnosed with autism back in January of 2020. Um, it's now January of 21. <laughs> praise, praise the Lord, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> um, but she got diagnosed with autism. I had just started a new job in December of 19. Um, it was full-time, and with COVID, we got sent home. Um, and so I was trying to balance a lot, um, of driving her to a program to help her with, um, a speech delay and, and some other behavioral issues, um, while working a desk job from home on the phone with people, um, and it was very tough. I had, to, I sat, so I was like sitting in the car driving her and sitting at my desk, tied to my desk because I was on the phone with patients. Um, and so with this year and then, you know, DoorDash, I put on, let's see, a total this year, I probably put on 30 pounds. Um, and this is the heaviest I've weighed in my like entire life. Um, so obviously like I've had moments this last year of like back pain, um, mainly my mid back. Uh, not where my surgery was, but like right where like your bra would hit or your shoulder blades come together. I've had some pain there. Um, and then in my low back, because I got to a point where I was like sitting, my was, my tailbone was going numb. Um, and I had a lot of like low back, like it just really hurt me. Um, but I had to quit my job um, in November and we bought a house. And so this house has stairs and I've lost 10 pounds. And I think just moving and not being stuck to a desk for lots of hours, cause I was working over eight hours a day. I was working like basically 10 hours a day. But being a parent, you're working 24 hours a day. Let's be real. Um, <laughs> but having to sit that long and be dedicated, um, my body just couldn't handle it. Plus just extra weight. It's not good on a bad back. Um, I know better. So um, hoping to lose some of that weight, but in general, I like right now I'm not in any pain. Um, it's definitely situational. If I sit for too long in an upright position or on the floor or kind of like I said before in one of my update videos, like if I'm sitting on a bed bent forward for a long period of time like it's gonna not feel good <laughs> um but in general i don't have i don't i don't have the pain that i had um before my surgery now over five years ago that's so crazy um and yes i went through a full pregnancy gained 40 pounds lost it all um and then progressively i put on weight since 2018 uh, we've just moved a lot. My husband's in the Navy. We've moved a lot, um, but hopefully we're here now. And because we did butt house. <laughs> um, so I hope we get to stay put. But yeah, so that's my five year update. Um, but yeah, again, I if you're in the incredible amount of pain that I was in where you just can't you can't bend over you can't get things off the ground in fact you start crying if you, you drop anything um if you have trouble getting out of your car if you have trouble getting out of bed or into bed twisting turning anything um if you walk like a hunched over 90 year old for a sustained period of time i'm talking about like oh i injured myself and now i'm fine no years four years i was like that if you're like that for more than a couple weeks I would look I would go to the doctor first and get diagnosed and if you get diagnosed with something specifically fractures 
you're gonna have to have some sort of a fusion to have some sort of a structural um, stability because I just had no stability. So again, I highly suggest it. Obviously do your research, I'm not a doctor. I've just experienced both a disectomy where they don't put anything structurally in and then a um, fusion where they put in screws and rods and plates and things. Um, and yeah, so um, I, I much prefer and recommend a fusion, but obviously that's between you and your doctor <laughs> um, and what they will agree to do um, and then financial situations, as I've said in previous updates. Um, but yeah, so for me, I just need to lose this weight because <laughs> it's just good in general for your body. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's my update. So see you probably in two years when I do another one, <laughs> maybe after another baby. <laughs> I only still have the one, um, Navy life. But anyway, um, I hope this helps. Bye.